Voting isn't just your civic duty, it's your right. It's your chance to make your voice heard and help determine who's in charge of getting things done. And it can be intimidating, but we've got you covered when it comes to New Jersey. But before you can vote, you need to get registered. You must be at least 18 years old, a U.S. citizen, and not incarcerated for a serious offense. New Jersey makes it relatively easy with automatic registration when you get your driver's license. But not everyone drives, so you may have to register a different way. You have to register in advance, no later than 21 days before an election. You can register in person, but you don't have to. You can also register online. Once you do, you're registered for life. Well, sort of. If you move and don't update your registration or you don't vote for several years, you could be removed from the voter rolls. You can always re-register. If you're unsure, you can double check your registration status online. The general election is usually the first Tuesday of November each year. But if you're busy, working, or attending class, on vacation, or just getting your hair cut, you don't have to vote that day. New Jersey lets you vote early. There are two ways to vote early. The easiest way is to vote by mail. You can get a ballot from your county clerk, either in person or by printing and mailing a form, but there's no online application. You can either apply to vote by mail in just the upcoming election, or you can opt for a mail-in ballot for all future elections. You must mail in your application no later than seven days before an election. Or you can get a ballot in person from the county clerk as late as 3 p.m the day before the election. Once you get the ballot, you can return it as early as you want, but it must either be postmarked by election day or delivered in person to the county board of elections or placed in a secure ballot drop box in your county by 8 p.m. that day. Sure, voting is important, but it's even more important to make sure you vote correctly. Make sure to carefully read over the directions for filling it out because if you mess up any of the steps, your ballot could be rejected. The key takeaways. Fill in the ballot circles fully in blue or black ink and don't detach the certificate that says, do not detach. The good news is if you do make a mistake before your vote is rejected outright, the Board of Elections must notify you by mail and give you time to correct your ballot. New Jersey also has early in-person voting for nine days prior to election day. It starts two Saturdays before the election and ends the Sunday before election day. At least three polling places are open in every county. The third way to vote is the old fashioned way. Polls are open on election day statewide from 6 a.m. until 8 p.m. You should receive a sample ballot in the mail at least a week before election day, which will list your polling location in your town and who is running so you can figure out who you want to vote for in advance. If you vote in person, don't forget your prize, that cool I voted sticker. Something else that's important to know, if you think you are being wrongly denied the right to vote, you can get help. Judges are on hand in every county on election day, ready to handle problems. Just call the Voter Protection Hotline for help. It's 1-866-OUR-VOTE. All the information you need to know, how to register, how to vote by mail, polling locations, and more is available from county clerks and election officials. Or find it all in one place on the state's voter information portal and our NJ Decides election page, where you can also find information about all the candidates and other election news. Now. Who are you going to vote for? And for more information on the New Jersey State Legislature, follow along with our series, Gotta Know Jersey.